I just got a really cool new Meteorite Slice to add to my collection. I wanna show it to you. It is a sample of the Brenham Palisite, named for Brenham, Kansas, where about 20,000 years ago, something like 4.3 tons of meteorite fell, uh, and it was only discovered in 1882. At the time, it was the largest palisite that had ever been discovered, 4.3 tons across lots of stones uh, that have since been divided up and often see sliced because they're palisites, and palisites are really pretty when you slice them. So where do palisites come from? Well, palisites generally come from asteroids, and they're found where the core meets the mantle of the asteroid. Think about cores, it's normally iron and nickel, it's metal, and the mantle is silicates, it's, it's stone, it's rockets, things like that. So where those meet, you get this kind of hodgepodge like you see here, and this one's really neat because if you look at the metal, you see the two different shades of gray, and that's where this has been etched with acid, so you can actually see the difference between the iron and the nickel that's found at the core, and then you see those gemstone looking things there, and those are what we call olivine crystals. Um, when they're gemstone quality on Earth, we call them peridot. And speaking of Earth, the cool thing about this is peridot or gemstone or peridot or olivine generally forms in high heat conditions and that tells us a little bit about the asteroids and how they are formed interestingly enough we also have these we suspect in the earth if you were to be able to get down to where the core meets the mantle and that's not something we've been able to do we suspect that very similar conditions would exist and if you were to take a sample of the rock from there slice it up polish it and etch it it would probably look something like this palisite so we can tell a little bit about the Earth and how it was formed, as well as the asteroids um, that we're looking at. Again, we suspect this asteroid came from in, somewhere in the asteroid belt, so somewhere between Mars and Jupiter. It took a really long journey, landed in Kansas in 18, uh, at about 20,000 years ago, discovered in 1882, um, shared, sliced up. Now I have this piece in my collection. So, so cool. Brenham is one of my favorite palisades, one of my favorite meteorites. I hope you think it's pretty cool too.